Welcome back to the American Dream. We are going into Las Vegas to find out what's going on in the real estate market over there. I have a great guest with me here today, Randy Hatata. He is a broker and the owner of Expand Realty. Randy, thanks so much for being here with us on the American Dream. Oh, it's my pleasure and I'm so excited, Kara. We're excited to have you. So I want to touch on all the new developments that are going on in Las Vegas, in specific, the Las Vegas Knights. How does something like that bring the city together? Ooh, what a topic. <laughs> so the Las Vegas Knights have accomplished so much and they've done so much for the city. They, they brought the slogan that I believe the city has backed, uh, welcome, to, welcome to Impossible. And, you know, with all of that, I feel like there's a sense of unity and pride um, that we've been missing for a long time in Las Vegas. There's something to be said about a team like that that really brings people together. It's a camaraderie. It's a, an energy in the city that can't be matched, you know, by any other sport. So I know that can really affect the real estate market. How would you say something like the Knights have affected the real estate over there? Well, they've certainly brought consumer confidence. Um, I think that they brought the icing on the cake with Las Vegas becoming a city. They've solidified a real culture and something to stand by. And I feel like a lot of people now want to be a, a bigger part of Vegas and actually basically um, potentially own in Vegas, as well as the actual nights becoming residents and making an impact on our market as well. Absolutely, it really does help the economy. So say somebody wanted to move out there, do you have any listings for the people who would love to live in Las Vegas? Absolutely, we have listings that uh, rotate on a weekly basis and they come in all price ranges from 100,000 and as high as the sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, Kara. <laughs> it really is, I was gonna say you have multi-million dollar properties, which are wonderful, but let's talk about the one that you have on Terra Avenue. It's right around the 750 mark price range. It is. Uh, well, Terra Avenue that you brought up is one of a kind. It's the type of property that brought old Vegas um, and kind of intertwined it with new Vegas. It's a complete remodel and uh, it's on, I would say three quarters of an acre lot, which is uncommon here. And the biggest thing that Tara has to share is that it's a piece of history. It's, it's the home that Andre Agassi learned to, um, learned to play tennis at, and he grew up his childhood at this specific residence. How often do you come across properties that are historically significant? Not often, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful properties, but historically significant, I'd say once in a while. That's awesome. So this is one of those that's really kind of cool that Andre Agassi learned to play there. So I wanted, is there anything that you want to touch on other than what we've touched on on the Las Vegas market? Where do you see it going from here? I'm excited about the market, as excited as, as, excited as I've been about the nights. So <laughs> sky's the limit for Las Vegas. We have a lot of momentum. We have the professional sports along with all the other uh, businesses and people looking to invest in Las Vegas with redevelopments and new opportunities. I think the Knights was one of the largest um, largest things that sparked that that new trend and I think it's going to keep going up from here. I couldn't agree with you more. It sounds you said it best when you said sky's the limit for Las Vegas. So Randy, thank you so much for touching on what Vegas is, what it might be and thanks for being here with us on the American Dream. Uh, it's my pleasure again, Kara. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching The American Dream. We'll be right back with more.